Good evening, JD at JD's Custom Buggies. Well, this is video number two on this. Uh, it's a Carter Talon. It's one of the MBX guys, the number 22. Um, the previous video was filmed the night before, so basically this is our evening's progress, in which case we fabricated our A-arms. Decided to stop here because I don't like to leave in the middle of uh, crucial me measurements and the next step will be to probably make spindles and a shock in the shock mounts on the lower arms and to tie them into the frame so even if I took a bunch of measurements made a bunch of marks you come in the next afternoon and sometimes you have a hard time remembering uh, where you left off so you're just better off to kind of do it in phases where you, you can go start to finish um, the night before, or the previous video, we got our A-arms mounted, and I did get one arm built. Uh, today we made our jig, which is nothing fancy. What I do is um, take some one by or some fairing strips or something like that, cut it, um, lay the arm on the uh, on a piece of plywood, and just basically make it so uh, you know, cut the piece the piece of wood, screw them to the board. So the angle, you know, if, if you need a point of reference and you slap your two pieces of tube in there and you have them bent the right way, they, they've got to come out the same no matter what. You can tell by the burn marks, um, you know, I'm welding on wood, which gets to be kind of stinky. So arms are done. Uh, the uppers ended up being a little different as far as the length in the rear, only because I did lay back. The upper mounts a little bit to give it some caster um the reason why i did that is for so it's not so fishy at the steering wheel so you can tell there's a little bit of a slant back so the upper arm the leg going back ended up being a little longer uh, i want to say not much by like three quarters of an inch so like i said what that tends to do is kind of uh, you know when both arms are set the right way or whatnot or you know with a spindle on there should lay the spindle back um in other words tilt the spindle back to give it some uh I, it's late and i can't remember if it's positive or negative caster but um it'll kind of help it stay in a straight line and not tend to be so fishy when hitting the bumps so this is where we're at tonight we're gonna stop for the night tomorrow um I haven't decided whether to tackle shock mounts first or spindles. But, I mean, it would be optimum to get them both done tomorrow. But we will see about that. So, alright guys, till the next one, have a good night.